everyone, so there's no intro to this video since there are two different looks. Hi everybody, let's get started. So I'm going to prime my lids with Max Painterly Paint Pot. And then I'm going to use Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Barely Branded just to help bring out the lid color. And you just want to dab a little bit on at a time and gently blend it out. So now I'm going to use Revlon's Photo Ready Eyeshadow in Metropolitan. This is number 501. And I'm just going to take this silver color right here and this is going to go right on the lid. And I'm using my MAC 252 brush. You don't want to dab any excess off because you want this color to be fairly pigmented right on your lid. Next I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush. I'm choosing to use my MAC brush over my Sigma E35 blending brush because the, um, the heads of the brush are very different and I for this look I want a more concentrated um, crease color so that's why I'm using my MAC one. If I wanted a more blended out color then I would use my Sigma brush. So I'm just going to take the same color the silvery color and I'm just going to blend this out in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to take my Sigma E35 blending brush and I am going to use this color right here and this is just going to go on my brow bone. And you can gently blend this in with your crease color just slightly. And since I have quite a bit of fallout here, I'm just going to use my MAC Cleanse Off Oil and a cotton pan. Just spray one pump and just clean this up before I start my foundation. This is actually the exact reason why I do my foundation after I put my foundation on. <laughs> I mean, I do my foundation after I put my eyeshadow on. Now onto eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. And I'm just going to make a cat eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so I already curled my lashes and I'm just going to put on my mascara and I'll be right back. So these are the mascaras I used for this look. I used them in the order from left to right. And all the way on the left, you can see the concealer I used on my face after my foundation. Okay, now onto my face. Now, I realized I don't have a drugstore primer, um, but I, so I'm going to use Benefit's Porefessional. I really, really like this one. Um, I feel it really minimizes my pores and kind of helps even out my skin. Um, I love it for under my eyes so my foundation doesn't crease. Alright, so today I'm going to use my Revlon's Nearly Naked Foundation. I am in color 190 True Beige. And I am going to use my Real Techniques brush. Um, this is as close to a drugstore brush that I have. I mean, I bought it at Ulta, so I'm going to dab a little bit on my brush. Put this all over my face. And don't forget to cover your neck as well. So to powder my face, I use Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my Real Techniques Powder Brush. So for this look, I use Max Honey Jasmine, but if you combine NYX Terracotta and NYX Peach together, you will get the same effect. So for my nude lips, I chose to use Revlon's Colorburst Lacquer Bomb in number 145 and Revlon's Lip Gloss in Crystal Lilac. Here are some images of the finished look. It's a great silvery gray smoky eye that can be used for any occasion, especially on New Year's. Now on to look number two. Okay, so this is look number two that you can use with the exact same palette. Just use the browns and the golds. So again, I'm going to prime my lids with Max Painterly Paint Pot. All 
Alright, and since I'm going to use gold on the lid, I am going to use Maybelline's Color Tattoo in bold as gold, and that's going to go right on my lid. Now, if you are using the brown all over your lid, you can use um, the color tattoo, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Toughest Taupe. So I'm going to use my MAC 213 brush and use this really pretty gold color right here. And this is going to be packed right all over my lid. And I'm not going to tap off any excess again just so I can get the full impact of this color right on my lid. Next, I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to use this brown color right here. And this is going to go right in the crease. And I'm going to concentrate the color on the corner of my eye. And you can bring this up towards the brow bone if you want a more intense look. And now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and just slightly blend this out just so this dark brown isn't so harsh in my crease. And you can use um, the MAC 240 brush as well for this part. Alright, so now I'm going to use this color again um, right underneath my brow bone using my MAC 224 brush. And you can gently blend it in with your crease color. Just a tad. So I'm going to take my MAC 219 brush and dip this into the brown color that we were using before. And I'm just going to line my bottom lash line with this. And I always like to bring it up to meet the corner of my eye just to get a complete look. Alright, and now I'm going to go back in with the gold color with the same brush. And this is going to go again just on top of the brown. And then as a last step, I am going to take this silver color right in the middle, which we used in the first video, take the same brush and just create a triangle on my eye just to create a highlight. So this is the finished look for look number two. Again, I would go with the neutral lip just because we pack so much color on our eye. You guys have a great and safe and happy New Year's. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of making makeup videos. I hope they're helpful to you. Please leave some comments down below. I hope everyone has a great New Year's and I'll see you guys all in 2014 with many more videos to come. Bye!